Hi everyone, it is really really final lecture of WebGL tutorial. Okay, the final lecture is about the uh, pawn shading. So we will explain the pawn shading model and then we'll program the, the specular. Okay, last time we learned or let learn the specular light. The specular light is so we are we are the reflex we are in the reflection angle camera is in the reflection angle then we can see some shiny shiny part so for example you can see shiny shiny is some but then how can you explain it okay so to calculate it the, of course we need to calculate it in in fragment shade not vertex shade of course it is possible to calculate the shinies like this in vertex shaders so it has some kind of a, this this qu low quality renderings we can get so to get the high quality the the fragment uh, high quality the specular effect then we need to use fragment shader so interpolation of normal is required okay so we send vertex and normal then that that this value will be interpolated with xyz coordinate then then each pixel has is each vertex and normal then with that we can calculate the shininess or diffuse then it, it will be mixed that is the the pong shading model okay Okay, pong shading model. The, we we already learned the, the ambient color and the, the diffuse color. It, the, we should add the specular reflection. So specular reflection is when you our eye is in the direction of the so opposite direction of of uh, light source uh, with respect to to normal vector or surface. Then you can get some shiny effect. So we need to calculate, calculate the the in some point we need to calculate light vector, and then view vector. And then we need to calculate. We need to have the normal vector, and also we should have the, uh, some <coughs> vertex po position, of course, and then. Do we need we need to define some color of reflection sometimes sometimes it is very some some hard to understand but it is possible to there is some kind of material that only specular reflect with a specific color for example the, the light source was white color but the specular is only the red color is a specular color so in that case we need to define the color of uh, color of uh, uh, intensity. So, so, to, so color of reflection. So, we need to define color, and then so we need to of course we need to, to define the in the intensity. I mean, intensity means that the the, the whole strong light source or Maybe light source can be can be the, the intensity will be varying on the distance with with camera and eye. So distance will be, for example, light source is located in here. Then this direction and this direction. So, but sometimes the, the income uh, the the distance is not a matter in specular color because when so only the only this kind of a so same direction uh, the light can be contributed contributed to specular so distance the attenuation is very small in specular color okay okay then there is uh, some another coefficient so it, it, a, it is the property of material that if it is very smooth then the reflection area will area will be very sharp like this for example, if we use this alpha is five, it its it, equation is cosine. What was that? Cosine, yeah. Some power of alpha and theta. So 
if it is minus 90 degree and then this is 90 degree, it's co if alpha is one, then it's cosine, cosine theta graph. So, so the, if, uh, the, it is, if it is some direction of uh, reflected light, then if camera is in here, then, then, then the, the degree is maybe 30 degree, then the, 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 the intensity will be dropped like this. So in this sharp case, we can, in uh, camera is the, not just in this air area, then we cannot see the specular effect. So if the shine is, the value is small, then even though it, it is not exactly same angle with reflected ray, but we can see the shininess, shininess like this. So, if alpha is small, then the the more wider area is uh, is specular area. And if it is light, the the alpha is big, and then very small area will be will be reflect the specular reflected area. Okay. So, in general, so if we set the five to ten, then it it looks like. A, Plastic. Okay. So. Okay. Let's programming the the specular code onto previous example. Okay. Previously, we we make some localized uh, effect. So I will change the position of light some place with our then so we can get some okay some yeah oh so much i think it is so much is very far from here it it look like very yeah it, it look like a very uh, very special effect like specular but it is just the the this does i'll check the the, the sign of the jet so R plus okay I'll I'll move to some some distance then okay I'll load it okay yeah I think it it, it is going back direction to R two R minus ten can you get Yes, this result. What's that? I expect somewhat in front side light, but it is not. I think it, it, we should use plus value. So, then, okay. We start with this result, and then we will add this more specular effect. So, so let's check it. Okay. So, and then to add a specular, uh, then we need to first we need to define some vector from uh, from uh, from point to 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 viewer point to light source so so we can calculate that with like this so for example we will i will set high p okay back to three three so l e and R, okay, so then we can calculate that L is L is uh, some kind of a uh, direction from from light source to position, so light to position to position vector, so it will be the light where is it, okay, we need to have to define the light position and then we need to go to to L is okay 
light minus minus vector then it will be okay it will be some from 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 vector to light direction so it is light position okay light position minus b and we need to normalize it okay and then so we need to calculate okay we need to calculate uh some from from uh from i to vertex i to vertex vector so uh, previous lecture uh, we we changed the transform matrix with the, the applying the the viewing matrix so our eye is located in 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 so we don't have to to minus i location is not needed so so it means that okay so in vertex to i direction is just vertex minus vertex so i vertex e i i vector is of course normalize and then okay it is because one comma zero comma zero comma zero minus v so we don't have to do that so just minus v okay then we calculate vector from from the, that point to i and we have also point to light source vector it is l and then we, we, we need to calculate the reflection reflection angle so reflection vector r is okay normalized okay and vector there is very convenient function reflect reflect <laughs> reflect with the light and we need normal vector okay normal vector we need normal vector it is because it's, if a surface normal vector is different then reflect angle should be will be changed okay so then you can calculate the normal vector okay then then with that we need to add some specular we need to calculate specular okay specular okay so okay just calculate the high p the intensity of specular okay So of course it is possible to specular has different the color color value, but in this example we just calculate only the the intensity only. So I will define it, it with floating point. Okay. So specular is then then okay. And what is that? Uh oh, sorry. Okay. Specular is that you can calculate. Specular is. Specular is. Hmm. Okay, let's it, let's make it as, as, okay. Spec back back to let's make it back to okay uh, vector four specular, and then we we need to uh, to set the intensity with vector four specular color. Okay, then we need to specular color is. In initially we need to set to 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, and one and 1.0. Okay, then okay, then we need to calculate specular the quantity of specular so intensity of specular so uh, 
specular is that uh, specular color multiply multiply uh, then power because do you remember that cosine alpha okay so power of max max we we will make dot product dot product with r and e so r is reflection angle and then e is i angle so the reflection angle reflection direction reflector reflected light direction and i is has same direction then it will be it will go to 1.0 and then if it is it is it goes to how can i say it, if it goes to 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 different direction then the that the dot method the value will be small so we will set some like ambient we can set some kind of uh, minimum value with it okay with 0 0.05 just the five percent specular all area then close it is close right and then calculate it then we, we calculate the specular color then we will add to uh, specular in here specular we will add a specular in here then I think that some mm, let's let's see the result okay surely there will be some kind of error <laughs> sorry little bit okay there is error then let's see the result okay cut syntax error in 103 103 103 there is some kind of a syntax error 103 in in vertex shader okay vertex shader syntax error yeah there is just some backslash is missing when the door is there any other missing backslash yes i find found, found found okay missing backslash okay right and then load it okay back three is i'm oh, sorry Okay, load it. Where is the syntax error? The semicolon syntax error. Semicolon syntax error. Where is missing semicolon? I found that I think it's a, that there is some kind of missing parenthesis. Okay, then right. Then reload it. Max matching overall to the function found max what is max max dot product oh yeah we need to okay max function should be close to in here and then power function must have parameter so we will set five okay not five five point zero okay then load it Oh yeah, can you see that? Yes, that very shiny. It looks like a very shiny, so metallic feeling is possible. If we change that some value with, if shiny value we 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 can increase our twenty as twenty, then then load it. So the shiny area is very small so okay so if we increase the, the sh shinies the parameters with two or one then yeah shining area is more wide so okay so it looks like a very some very rough metallic feeling we can feel that okay so it is a phone shading model you can do that so then i will 
right it and then I will remove the, the garbages okay and then when I learn get here okay get add star get commit minus m final shading code final okay pong sh pong shading code okay get push now you can download it my code please practice change the value and then and then try to 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 use different color or different setting or that is possible for example for example i, I already pushed that but I, I want to change it to i will back to original but if the the specular color is just on if the specular is only yellow the i turned off the specular color is the blue then then okay reload it but something very strange but it is possible but very strange but it, it is reflection is yellowish color but it is possible okay so please try to change it and and you can feel the how to pong shading is working okay okay we will back to pong model so in original pong model is mixture of ambient color the ambient color can be expressed with the repression coefficient in it is some kind of mixture right and then the intensity of ambient light maybe intensity of the ambient light will be defined like RGB a value okay and then and then the distance term in case of light source then we can use some kind of a yeah some attenuation or decay so attenuation feature for if it is far from some light some local light will be the intensity will be reduced by if it is located apart from the surface so we can use that distance term to calculate diffuse or specular okay and light source can have have different so some light can be can be effected to diffuse or specular or ambient so therefore the diffuse light source color and specular light source color and ambient light source color can be different so it is hence nine coefficient for each point source it means that okay so diffuse color rgb specular color rgb and ambient color rgb we can define it okay so yes it is possible so, and then and we can assign material okay we can assign material for example material has diffuse color it means that if light came to rgb then i will absorb something something uh, uh, some part of rgb will be absorbed and then some other color is diffuse like the whole direction the color is the, the, some distributed the whole direction it, it is like explosion then the, the, the this reflected color is is diffuse color of material material can define it color and also light source can define color so it can be multiplied then we can get some calculation okay of course it is possible to the material can can reflect only special part of light source we should define color of 
specular in material and all and together with the light specular color and also we can depend ambient material or ambient light ambient light will be effective to all objects but ambient material is only effective for that object only okay adding up the component the problem is we need to add to 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 diffuse and specular and ambient that is pong model so we need to for it it does not have any golden rule for for, for adding so we we can control with ks and kd and ka value then we can set some some mixture so it is very so manual way so if it is oh it, it looks somewhat natural or not or some so we need to to, to manually control that 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 blending coefficient okay Pong model is like this, ambient color, and diffuse color, and we calculate the specular, and then it is added with coefficient, then we can get Pong reflection. Okay? Okay. The modified Pong model. There are, uh, so Pong, Pong model has some uh, different uh, way to, to modify it to, to, to have good quality and good performance. The, the, most well known uh, method is the Blin. The Blin is very famous computographic scientist. The, uh, the, he suggests that, that, that the new way that we, we can use the, the halfway vector. So it is very similar result, but it, the performance is better and more efficient. So that method is Pong Blin model. Okay? So halfway vector is like that. So slightly different. You can try to to, to try to program it and with Pongolin method, and then you can down you can you can find in internet you can download the Pongolin shader code. Okay. Okay. For example, this kind of thing is possible with Pong model. So different color and different reflection. Anything is possible. Okay. This is some mathematical terms, the computational or something. So it is normal so we I already explained it but sometimes we need to know that so for example TPDU is very useful tool for example if image is in pragmatic shader as a texture then it is if in this point we can calculate the intensity different but of very near pixel or near light pixel, we are near up pixel or near left pixel, then we can calculate some kind of a tangent vector in specific point. Then, then we can calculate we the DPDU and DPDU. Okay, this direction tangent vector and this direction tangent vector, and we cross product these two vectors then you can get normal vector of this point then but it is not a point it i said that it is texture image if you put that texture image texture image on on the premon shader then we use that this normal vector normal vector direction so if there is a, some kind of original normal vector and then change it with this texture with this function dpdu function is a derivative function then we can get the bump mapping please try bump mapping with your code okay uh, so in internet of course it is possible to you can get the the, the bump mapping shader source code or there are so many good explanations, so please use it. Okay. And the final thing you should understand then is, so we, in computer graphics, we use parametric form. The opposite is the, uh, what is that? So, oh, oh, arbitrary equation. For example, y equals fx, 
that is the opposite of parametric form. So in computer graphics, normally we, we, we use parameter, for example, t, then x equals ft, and y equals gt, then the, this kind of parametric form is widely used in, in computer graphics. It is because much easier to implement in computer graphics. Okay, so that is my, my final slide of uh, WebGL tutorial. So the, it, is, it is made for computer graphics lecture in, in Aju University. I am the, the professor of Aju University. I'm teaching computer graphics. So I hope that you, you, you can, you, I, I, I hope that I help you to understand WebGL well, so, it, so my English was so clumsy, so I know that, but, but I, I hope just that, that it, it will be helpful to you. So, and uh, I think uh, for a while I will, I will stop the, the uploading the, the WebGL tutorial the video and, and uh, soon maybe it will be a winter uh, summer of uh, this year, then I will upload it, uh, some kind of application, WebGL application, how to, how to programming bump mapping or how to programming the texture with moving picture, the video texture mapping, or how to move the image in HTML page with WebGL transformation. Uh, I will make, the, uh, I will explain the WebGL later, but it is not the, the based on course, the, I will explain it with this, some kind of a sample application or sample case. Okay. I think, I hope that see you soon. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Okay, I'll show my office and my equipment to record. So, my computer is yes, Dell Alien, and I'm using three 4K monitor and one Full HD small monitor because my tablet is connected to small windows. So I always when i'm writing something i'm always watching upward <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry and i have some posters and i have some luminance equipment i will turn off it okay and then and i'm using mic professional mic and there is very good important thing is mosquito killers there are some mosquitoes Bye everyone, bye, bye, bye everyone.